Hello and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are comparing Task Manager versus Process Explorer. Windows Task Manager, also known as Task Manager, is a feature in Windows operating system, which is one of the most important and powerful utility. It can manage tasks, applications and services running and can also kill or end them. It is also a monitoring tool which can be used to monitor your hard disk, memory, CPU and network usage. Killing an unresponsive or misbehaving application is one of the most used feature of the task manager. Along with that, starting with Windows 8, task manager also has the startup feature which manages the startup applications from where you can enable or disable the apps that are set to run when the window starts up. However, there is an application available which can also be used as an alternative to Task Manager, designed for advanced users which goes by the name of Process Explorer. Process Explorer is a part of diagnostic tools from the Sys internals family which are distributed for free by Microsoft. Process Explorer is the most popularly used tool among them. Process Explorer can give you a lot more information and control over all the applications, processes and services that are running on your computer and also includes all the features the Task Manager has. Process Explorer can trace an application down to the last DLL file it is using. Process Explorer runs without installation. You simply have to run a very small file making it portable. In this video we will compare task manager with process explorer should you wish to use process explorer this guide will help task manager can be used by user to know which applications processes services are running and also control their priority and the number of processors they can use it can also provide you with information about cpu memory and network usage on your computer since task manager is designed for home and basic use it won't help in debugging and doesn't provide extensive and detailed analysis about the running processes whereas process explorer gives you all the above information in a very detailed and neat way with a lot of extra features too some are mentioned in this video but are not nearly all of the features that are buried there in the process explorer's interface if you do want to try the features we recommend you download Process Explorer, which is very small in size, around 1.2 MB to be exact, and keep it running through the video. The link to download Process Explorer is given in this video's description. Download Process Explorer and then open the downloaded file and double click PROCEXP, which is Process Explorer.exe, to run Process Explorer. Accept the end user license agreement by clicking I agree. First of all, the advanced user interface. Task Manager has pretty much stayed the same in terms of user interface. A user may find especially the process tabs confusing if he is looking for a single target process to monitor or kill or to see which application is using it. All the processes would look the same to a less tech savvy eye. Process Explorer is a clear win in this case. It carefully and accurately separates system core processes in pink color and your own manually started processes in blue color. All the processes would have their associated icon next to them and their description too. Also, its tree view organizes the processes in such a way that you can easily know the parent process of a target process on which it running. The CPU GPU and network and disk monitoring graphs can be seen on the top two and can be enlarged if clicked. There is another feature which is unlock files and folders. Process Explorer is a great troubleshooting tool too. If you are unable to delete a file or folder, even if you have closed all programs, it can help you trace down to the process and or DLL handlers that are still unnecessarily locking the file or folder. Then you will be able to delete them. To do so, simply open Process Explorer and click on the binoculars icon on the top. 
type in the file or folder name and click search. In the example, let's search for Word. Select each process in the result and close them by going back to the Process Explorer window. Then right click on the target handle process and click close or handle, click close handle or kill process. Let's say we want to close Excel. So let's click on Excel, right click on it, kill process or kill process tree. Another feature that we have is the detailed information or analysis. In the Process Explorer window, double click the process to view its detailed information. Let's click on notepad.exe for example and you will see a detailed information. In the property window, you can see its location, current temporary directory, auto start location, if it is configured to run automatically, Detailed computer resources usage group into network, disk and CPU usage and much more. You can also trace applications process. If you would like to trace a process and its associated file, simply drag the crosshair icon to the app and it will show you all related associated processes. Drag this icon to the running application and it will let you know the related processes. You can also process check or virus total. Process Explorer can scan for process online. It can also search the process for viruses. Right click on the process and click on check virus total. The accessibility or shortcuts are pretty much same. There are task manager is built into Windows and there are several ways to access it such as the keyboard shortcuts which are right now being shown on your screen. You can press and hold control key, shift key and escape. You can press and hold control key, alt key, delete key and then click on start task manager. You can right click on the taskbar and click on start task manager or you can also press and hold windows key and press X and then click on task manager and this applies only in windows 8 and later windows. Process Explorer can also be accessed in the same way if replaced. To replace Task Manager with Process Explorer, open Process Explorer, click on Options and then click on Replace Task Manager. Now you will able to run Process Explorer the same way as you would run Task Manager. So as you see this was not much of a competition as Process Explorer is clearly more powerful than Task Manager. I hope you like this video and this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.